Good morning. My name is Khuram and you are watching Optometry with Khuram. And today our topic is accommodation. You know very well this is a natural phenomena in the eye in which in broad spectrum the eye can increase its plus power or more specifically the crystalline lens can increase its plus power. You know very well that the eye has only plus power. Right. If we talk about the cornea, the first structure, the first most transparent structure of the eyeball, which is called cornea, has only plus power, plus 43 diopters. Right. It's carrying plus 43 diopters. Right. And if we talk about the crystalline lens, that crystalline lens carries 15, more or less 15 diopters of the plus power. Right. So it means that the whole eyeball carrying the plus power. And if we relate this condition to the refractive errors, if we talk about the hypermetropia or hyperopia, it means the plus, the eyeball has the deficient plus power. Cornea is losing its plus power or the crystalline lens is losing its plus power. That deficiency of the plus power in the eyeball cause the hypermetropia, a refractive error, right? And if we talk about the myopia, in the case of myopia, that cornea or that crystalline lens actually increasing its plus power. So that increase in the plus power in the eyeball in the form of cornea or in the state of crystalline lens, that increase in the plus power is called the myopia. So there is no any concept of minus power in the eyeball. There is increase in the plus power, which is called myopia. There is decrease in the plus power, which is called hypermetropia. Now we will discuss about the accommodation. What is accommodation? As we have discussed that the accommodation is actually the increase in the plus power of the crystalline lens, more specifically the cornea cannot increase or decrease its plus power as a whole right but if we talk about the crystalline lens the crystalline lens can increase its plus power and that increase in the plus power of the crystalline lens is called the accommodation and now we will discuss about the different terminologies regarding the accommodation and the first one is called the range of accommodation the second one is called the amplitude of accommodation. The third one is called the relative accommodation, which is more, more concerned topic today. And the next one is the lead of accommodation. And next is the lag of accommodation. So first we will discuss about the range of accommodation. Whenever we say the range, there is a difference between range of accommodation and amplitude of accommodation. So if we talk about the range, the range mean distance, right? The range mean distance. So if you talk about uh, the range of accommodation, we are actually talking about the distance. What distance? Right. So now the range of accommodation, you know very well about the near point of accommodation and the far point of accommodation. Right. What is near? What, what is far point of accommodation first? The far point of accommodation is if, if I am taking this pen away from my eyes, right, at a specific distance where this pen is clear to me, clear to my eyes and single to my eyes right clarity and binocular single vision is maintained at the farthest point right that farthest point is called the far point of accommodation the far point right and at the far point the accommodation is totally relaxed so that point is called the far point right and what is near point now if i am carrying this pen closer to my eyes at a specific distance where this pen is clear to my eyes and single to my eyes. It means clarity and binocular single visions both are maintained. Both are there, right? So that nearest point is called the near point, right? So the, what is range of accommodation now? The range of accommodation, what is the definition of the range of accommodation? The range of accommodation is actually the distance. As I said, the range means distance. Whenever we say range of accommodation, we are talking about distance. So what distance? The distance between the near point and the far point. That distance is called the range of accommodation, right? And now the second one is called the amplitude of accommodation, right? So what is amplitude of accommodation? Remember that whenever we talk about, whenever we say amplitude of accommodation, whenever we say amplitude, it means the diopteric value of the accommodation. Range means distance, and amplitude mean diopteric value, right? Amplitude, amplification, that peak, that peak is called the amplification or amplitude, right? So what is actually the amplitude of accommodation? Amplitude of accommodation is actually the difference between the accommodative power, the diopteric power of the accommodation from the far point to the near point, 
right if i am looking at the far point if i'm looking at far point if i'm looking at this that camera which is far away from my eyes so that point is called the far point suppose right and this is my near point right and you know very well the phenomenon of accommodation that at the far point at the optical infinity the accommodation is totally relaxed accommodation is at zero right and when any object will come closer to my eyes the accommodation will increase right the accommodation will increase so at far distance accommodation is at zero and if the object is coming closer to me the optic value of the accommodation is increasing so the difference between far point the difference of the dioptric value of the accommodation from the far point to the near point right that increase in the that increase in the or amplification in the accommodation or dioptric value is called the amplitude of accommodation so range of accommodation is the distance between the far point and the near point and amplitude of accommodation is the increase in the amplitude of the accommodation or the dioptric value from the far point to the near near point right it means that how much power i required to from that far point to that near point right how many how much power that i required to see this object clearly so that increase in the plus power is called accommodation and the maximum ability of the uh, of maintaining the accommodation by any person is called the amplitude of accommodation right now the amplitude of accommodation is actually uh, the in the maximum power the maximum peak of accommodation in anybody in any person in any human being right so this is called the amplitude of accommodation so the next one is called the lead of accommodation right so lead of accommodation right so if i'm looking lead of accommodation you know lead lead mean increase and lag mean decrease right so lead of accommodation if i am looking at this object which is actually uh, more or less 40 cm away from my eyes right and if i want to see this object clearly i need to increase my plus power you know very well right and my actually accommodation is coming from my brain right the stimulus is coming from my brain i want to look this object clearly right now my brain will process and will send stimulus for accommodation and accommodation will increase the plus power of my eyes and i can see this object clearly this is the phenomena right so we are talking about the lead of accommodation if i required plus 2 accommodation or plus 2 dioptric of accommodation to see this object clearly but right and my brain is sending plus 2 diopters for accommodation but my ciliaris muscles is developing plus 4 for accommodation so that is called required is plus 2 but exertion is plus 4 so that increase in the accommodation is called the lead of accommodation normal than the or more than the normal right so this is called lead of accommodation and what is lag of accommodation lag of accommodation means if i uh, if i want to see this object clearly and i need plus 2 diopters to see this object clearly right my brain will send stimulus of plus 2 right but my ciliaris muscles has only plus 1 so brain is actually giving plus 2 but ciliaris muscle has ability to to gain plus 1 of dioptric value of accommodation so that decrease in accommodation is called the lag of accommodation right and now the concern topic today is the relative accommodation and now we will discuss about the relative accommodation